to my channel. It has been years since I have done a makeup tutorial. I'm talking like years, like literally years. fun to do so I was happy to do it I'm taking my own advice because even though I have been avoiding doing this makeup tutorial for probably the last seven years uh, I'm finally giving in <laughs> because I'm taking my own advice I spoke to a client the other day and we were talking about just oversaturation in the market and a lot of people are talking about the same thing why should I say the same thing as other people and I said you know like just because other people are talking about it doesn't mean that your voice isn't important and then I posted up on my Instagram stories about, um, I was doing a photo shoot for one of the local magazine or one of the local newspapers here. And I did my makeup for the photo shoot instead of taking them up on the offer to have the makeup artist do it. Just cause I prefer to do my own makeup because I know how to you know, do everything. And I got so many requests, so many DMs about my makeup. And so I talked a little bit about my makeup in my stories and what makeup I use, but the overwhelming comments that I got was simply about my eyeliner and how I wing my eyeliner out. Uh, I do have a fail proofed way of how to figure out what angle you do the little flick at. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that in just a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So after seven or so years, maybe even longer, maybe eight years of getting this request, I'm finally making this video and I hope that you enjoy. I literally have not sat down to do any sort of makeup tutorial in years. So let's see if it's like riding a bike. All right, so first and foremost, before I get into the eyeliner portion, I wanna talk about prepping your eye area because a lot of times people will put on eyeliner and then it either starts to fade or flake or smear after like an hour or two. And the reason why is because you probably haven't prepped your eyelid area and if you have oily lids, and the eyeliner that you're using doesn't work for oily lids, then it's gonna, there's gonna be some movement. And that's not what we want. We want to put the eyeliner on and then just make it stick and make it stay. So one of the things that I like to do in order to prep my eyelid area is first and foremost, oops, we are going to be using an eye primer. Now I've already done all this already, so I'm just walking you through it. Eye primer. I'm using uh, Lorac behind the scenes eye primer. If you don't have an eye primer, you can go to the drugstore and get one or you can go to Sephora or Ulta and just say, hey, I need an eye primer, and they will get you all set up. I also like Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, what else do I like? I think those are like my favorite ones. This one's by Lorac, and I find that it goes really well with their particular eyeliner, so that's why I use it. So this is gonna prevent smearing, creasing, fading, and all of that. If you are gonna be doing a, a whole situation, like a whole look, like you're gonna be using eyeshadow and all of that, then I'm going to recommend that you go on top of the eye primer with something, uh, a light colored base. So you can either use something like a MAC Shadow Pot, NYX has a white base or a flesh color base. I can't seem to find where mine is. So instead of that, I'm using a very light colored concealer and this is by Fenty Beauty. And obviously you can see it's much lighter than my skin tone. So I'm just covering up any redness. You know, the blood vessels on our eyes are very close to the skin because we have very thin skin in that area. So I like to use something to just block out some of the, the redness or the darkness that can come if you have dark circles. So that's why I'm using that. But on top of this, you have to make sure that you set it either with a translucent powder or um, an eyeshadow. So I just like to go in with a light colored eyeshadow. Like I'll probably use something like that. I didn't use it today, I used a Lorac one, but I would use a light colored shadow just to set the concealer. And it also helps for if you're using eyeshadow, like darker eyeshadows later, to blend everything together. Okay, so that's my spiel about prepping your eye. Next, we will go into the actual eyeliner portion. I'll be using my favorite eyeliner by The Face Shop. It is the Ink Graphy. It's kind of hard to find in America. Um, so usually I will get it from the Philippines or I'll have somebody send it to me, my mom will go to the store and get it for me, or I'll try to find it online, but it's been relatively difficult to find lately, but this is what we're using. You can use any eyeliner you like, this is what I'm using at the moment. Okay, so now that you're very close to my base, my makeup is not finished, so don't judge me. Uh, let me first talk about the anatomy of an eye, because this is where people really get tripped up and why their eyeliner does not look good. A lot of the times people, when they do the eyeliner, they just automatically want to flick it out, and it, it's not balanced, like it doesn't look good because your eye shape does not go with the angle of the flick that you are doing. So here is like my 
one trick that I like to give people. You never follow your top lash line. That's the mistake that a lot of people make when it comes to eyeliner is they do the top lash and they try to flick it out. No, 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 no. What you are going to do is you are going to follow the curvature of your lower lash line. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So when I do my, like if you're going to take a pencil and, and trace your lower lash, like you're going to go like this and then pretend like your lower lash is going to extend that's where you want the angle of the eyeliner to go. If you do that and you follow the line of your lower lash line, you will get perfect eyeliner every single time. Okay? So that is the key. Follow the lower lash line. So let's do this. Now, why I did this is because usually from the, t the edge of your nose right here to the edge of your brow, like that creates like this perfect symmetrical angle and we know from studies is that beauty is all about symmetry and so you want to follow the symmetry of your face as much as you possibly can i feel like that was very scientific um, okay so let's do this here's my eyeliner and then i am going to now what i like to do to start off is i and it really just depends on my eye is i like to start on the inner corner hopefully you can see what i'm doing let me see if i do that And then once I've gotten some of the eyeliner kind of off of the brush, I will then go and do the angle here. Sorry, it's like, come on, focus, focus. So now that I have done the inner part of my eye, I'm now going to follow my lower lash line and create my flick. All right, so lower lash, like this, and then I create the flick. So now I've just connected from the very end inward. And then I'll just fill it in. See, and it's really that simple. People think that it's like some complicated process and it's not. Now immediately after I do that, I do go in and put my mascara on because sometimes I get the liquid liner on my lashes and then it like ends up hardening and then I can't put mascara on, so. So anyway, so there is eye number one. Let's go in to eye number two. Okay, so once you've done the first eye, the trick is now to make them look even. Now, usually our eyes are not 100% the same shape or even 100% in the same location on our face. Like one eye can be like a millimeter higher, you know what I mean? So don't, I say don't stress about that, but just try and make it as even as you possibly can. So that's what I'm gonna do. This eye is definitely not the same shape as this eye. Um, the angle of my lower lash, remember I talked about that? So the angle of my lower lash over here is not the same as this. It seems like it, but because I've done my makeup by myself for a very long time, I know that it's not the same. So I have to kinda, I have to makeshift make it even with how I apply my eyeliner. So for this eye, I apply it completely, well not completely different. Instead of starting on the inner, I usually start right here in the center, and then I go outward. And then I'll create my flick. So I just kind of take a look at what angle that is, and then I will go over here and do the same thing. Sorry, I feel like you can't see me. <clears throat> and there you go. Now I've been doing my eyeliner for, you know, years, so. And then mascara, per usual. Now it's very important when you're doing your eyeliner to make sure that you get like right to the lash line. I can't tell you how many people I see doing their eyeliner and there's like a gap between their lash line and their mascara and their lash line and the eyeliner. You don't want to see any skin between your lash line and your, your eyeliner. You want it to just be like all black or all brown, whatever it is you're using. So like I was saying, I've been doing my eyeliner for years now, so it seems like 
you know, I can, I can do it, you know, with my eyes closed. Um, it just takes practice. It just takes practice. So you have to just keep trying, but if you follow the, the instructions and the tip that I gave you about just following your lower lash line and making sure that the angle that the flick follows is, is that one, then it does make everything a little bit easier. All right, ladies. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, here is what I'm going to ask of you. If you try this method, please post it up on Instagram or Facebook or Instagram stories. And then I want you to tag me because I want to see how you're doing your eyeliner and seeing if it's working for you. Um, I have taught this to different friends in the past and they've definitely used it and they said it works. So now I just want to see what you guys think.